So what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yesterday I was at Tractor Supply. I was picking up a salt block for the cows because, you know, they were running out. And uh, when I'm there, I kind of browse around and see what else they have just because, you know, I'm there already. Came across something that could be a game changer. These things right here. They are four foot long, three eighths inch fiberglass post. And you know what? I have an idea for these. These could really be a game changer for our farm. So here, I try and be as efficient as possible with moving the cows every day, with doing everything around the farm. If it can save me a little bit of time, I'm gonna do it. Why? It's the most valuable thing to you, and you know, you, the more time that you have, the more things that you can get done. Now, for those of you who don't know, we built this lane here of electric fence that we run the paddocks of the cows off of. They go from here to the fence, the perimeter fence, which is the road over there, and I normally use these very standard uh, portable electric fence posts that you can get just about anywhere. Now, they are great because you can move them all the time and they're light and just easy to move around. But setting up the, but setting up the paddocks is the most time consuming part of moving the cows. I can move the cows if the paddocks already set up in less than five minutes and that's including their water and everything. So, my thinking is if I can use those, fibro, those fiberglass posts as permanent posts that go to the road, that could be a game changer and we could have all of our paddocks set up already. Now I don't know if it's gonna work because they're kinda skinny. It doesn't really matter because I only got 15 of them. I'm just trying this out because these were a dollar. I mean, can't beat that. They're a dollar for a fiberglass, for a fiberglass post. I can use them for something. But if this can work as a permanent post that we can drive into the ground because see, they have a point on them already. This could be a game changer. This could make things so much easier, so much more efficient to where I'm not having to set up a new paddock for the cows every day. It's already set up with these. They're UV treated, so they're not gonna, you know, get brittle or anything like that in the sun. Let me see if this works. So the way that we normally do it now is in our lane, every 75 feet, we have electric gate handle. It's obviously not on right now. And then off of this handle, we go straight to the road. Now, what I'm gonna try and do is I have paddocks set up for the cows for the next few days because just, you know, more efficient to do it all in one shot. But I'm gonna use these for a paddock that they don't have access to yet and see if this is gonna work. We're gonna experiment together. Let's see, this could change stuff. This is, these were a dollar. I mean, I'm not gonna post this video until I go buy out every tractor supply around here if these are a dollar, geez. Now, one of the issues that I see us having with it is these right here, they have a clip, you know, to where you just put the wire through. These don't, and they're pretty thin. They're pretty thin to see, you know, to be able to drill a hole through it to where you can run the wire through it, but I don't know, they're pretty thin. That's gonna be the biggest issue with these, if they work or not. Now, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is, first try, a couple different ideas, is do a zip tie, plastic, it's gonna, it's gonna be insulated, not gonna ground out or anything like that. So I think I'm gonna do a zip tie. I'm gonna tie it around and do a zip tie with the wire that goes on here to hold it in place. Hey, you know, might not look the prettiest. I'll come back through and clean it up and everything, but this works. Save me a million hours of time. You see, the way that I set up the electric fence post now is I go take 16 steps, which is approximately 36, 38 feet. Then I put one of the portable fences in. Now, I'm gonna try and do the same thing. Count off 16 feet, and then I was gonna use the post hole driver, but I don't think we need to. I think we're just gonna use a sold hammer. So let's see if this works. Now this is purely experimental, and I gotta make sure that these are even tall enough to where the cows just don't jump over them. But we'll see. I'm putting it about a foot in the ground, so Hopefully this will hold it. Now let's go do it like 12 more times. All right, we ran into a little problem. We ran out of electric fence line. And I uh, thought I had more. Apparently I don't use it all, so we're probably gonna have to pick this back up again tomorrow, but check this out. This is 100% working. A Little bit of a bend here, which uh, I think when I tie on to the other side, it'll go straight. But the wire's staying pretty good, pretty true. Not too much of a sag, not enough to where the cows are just going to jump over it like nothing. 
then I can always come back and tighten it up by just white wrapping it around the pole. But the way that I'm attaching it with the zip tie seems to be working really well. You know, I just go on an angle, the different angle that the, the wire's on. Sure enough, these things are working. Now, long term, will this work? I don't know because on a T-post, they're shaped like that for a reason. These are just poles. I don't know if these are going to hold up over, you know, a long, long term. They might slip out of the ground. But if they can hold up 90% of the time and I can just go through and put them back in the other 10% of the time, oh, I'm in. I'm 100% in. Because look, this is the, the wire is tight. It's going to get tighter when I tie it off completely. But yeah, this is working. So, but now, time to make a trip to Tractor Supply, pick up some more line. All right, so it's the next day. Got new wire from Tractor Supply. The wire that we put up held up pretty nicely, so I'm gonna attach this one. See how this turns out, see if it's able to hold. I think it is. All right, I'm actually really liking this. These fence posts here, they're only a, what, 3 eighths of an inch, but they're sturdy. I mean, they wiggle back and forth because they're, they're just fiberglass. But they're holding up. I mean, there's pretty, there's there's a good amount of tension in that wire there, and they're holding up. This might just work. I got it run all the way to the lane that we have where the electricity comes from, all the way to the perimeter where that car just drove by, the fence in front of it. And you know what? I think this is gonna work. I'm not gonna call it a full success until there. It's here uh, probably a week or two because I don't know if these are gonna stay in the ground. They're about a foot in the ground. I think they should. I think they should. But we'll see. Look at this. And these are a dollar. A dollar, some wire, and a zip tie. I'll come through and cut that off. But you know what? This is looking really good. Really good. And you know what I like about them too? Over there, look. You can see that fence post sticking out like a sore thumb in the middle of everything. This one here, you can't really see. Now you're, you can see it because you're up close, but let's see if we can find one. Right over there, right there, I used the extra to set up another paddock to try and run it there too. You can't really see it. It blends in really, really nicely. That's kind of cool because I don't necessarily know if you want these things being seen. I think, you know, the cows can see them. They'll see the line. They're all, they're always on the lookout for that because they're trained to it. But the fence post, I don't know if necessarily you want that all throughout your pasture, just for looks wise. If this works, this is gonna be pretty cool. This will save me so much time. This will save me so much effort. I won't have to move the electric fence post at all. <clears throat> I mean, unless I want to cross section the paddocks, which I will probably do, don't need them. Don't need them. Very cool, very cool. We'll see how this goes. You can see this is the main line, the alley here. Now, all I have to do when the cows are in this paddock and I want to let them into this one here, is just lift up that gate handle. I have it tied in just like that. This is gonna be pretty cool. Goes all the way down. I think this will work. I really think this will work. So check this out. This is the paddock that I was showing you. There's another line over there and you just can't see it. You just can't see it. Now, will the cows be able to see it when they get close? Yes, why? Because it'll look like this. But over there, to the naked eye, you just can't see it. Now, the alternative to those would be like the step-in rebar post. Those will rust, and if they bend at all, then it's really hard to get them back. Or we could do the T-post. I like the T-post for the lane. I don't think I'd like the T-post so much for the cross fences or the paddock divisions like here. Why? Because I don't know how nice it would look to see T-posts going all the way down. See, it looked like that all the way down, and I don't think I'd really like that. I don't know if uh, that's the best. Also, the cost savings on it. Because check it out, a T-post set up like this. So with the T-post, you need the T-post and you need an insulator, okay? This costs like 370 something or whatever, and that's about a quarter. So that's four bucks there. Those, these posts here, if they work, they cost a dollar. A dollar and a zip tie. So I'm not even gonna try and calculate what the zip tie costs. So that's a cost savings of 75%. That's pretty cool. Why, because when you're on a scale of 30 acres like it is here, 
you need a lot of fence posts. I wouldn't be surprised if I calculated out, we might need like approximately like 500 posts. So 500 T posts times $4, that's 2,000 bucks. Still worth it to do and everything. Since I'm moving them every day, it just makes sense. That way I don't have to spend so much time setting a post. But if I can do the exact same thing, have it look a little bit better in my opinion, for 500 bucks, I'd save the $1,500 all day. Now that's excluding the cost of the wire and then the handles that I have over there on the fence. But look at this. You can barely see it. That's what I like about it. Those out there, you can totally see all the different posts. Just they stick out kind of like sore thumbs. Those, those are just bright white. These are a darker gray. These, these are a lot more sturdier and just better than the stepping post over there because those are plastic and they break all the time actually. And these are a dollar. A dollar and a zip tie. This could be a real game changer. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna let it sit for a week or two to make sure that these just don't pop out of the ground just, you know, when it rains or something or the wind blows too hard or if a deer or uh, something else hits it. But I think that's a solution right there. I think that's a big time solution. And just looks better than just having a million and a half T post out here. So if you wanna see how these fence posts turn out, hit that subscribe button down below, ring the notification bell so you can get notified when we put up new videos. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm because it really does help. The more likes we get, the more views we get. And then drop a comment if you like, all right? Till next time, see ya.